Hey guys, this is Kenny the Messy Soper over at Royal Appleberry, and <laughs> if I sound a little muffled, I had my mask on because I am making bubble bars. Um, I made these last year, and um, as you know, this is not my recipe, so I cannot give it to you, but I will link my old video of how I did kind of a detailed uh, demonstration of how I made the bubble bars. I'm not going to show all that this time. Um, the only difference now is I have a stand mixer, but you can get the recipe and trust me when I say it's well worth it. You can get the recipe from Two Wild Hairs. That's at, um, um, she has an Etsy shop. So yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started and then I'll bring you guys back once I have everything mixed in. So and also, if you do buy the recipe, because I, I had a lot of people ask me last time, this is a double batch. This is not a single batch. That's why it's so much bigger and I'm using so much more liquid and a dry ingredient. So, see you guys in a sec. So I got this rolled out as far as I want it. I'm thinking, I'm trying to figure out which way to go. Um, I think I want to go the way it's laying facing me. And now I'm going to dust this with um, a little bit of baking soda. And I'm going to flip it over because although my purple was on the inner side, I want my purple to be on the outside. And I don't mind the white and pink being on the edges, the ring around it no bother for me so get a little bit just a little like that much of baking soda and just kind of sprinkle it around and then rub it on there and why are, why am i doing this 
it's just like baking you know you make a jelly roll um so it doesn't stick to the paper that's why i'm doing this because uh, if it sticks to the paper then it's going to tear all up so that's enough of that and now i'm going to flip it back over so that the purple can be my outer side now let's see if i can be as swift as i was last time <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what career involves that, but you know, I might be good at it. <laughs> so, okay, so now I'm just going to take my hands and kind of smack that all back together. Oh my gosh, I need a separate workshop for uh, bubble bars and bath bombs because toss of silk that goes with my soap is just everywhere. Okay, so I think that's good enough. I'm still undecided which way do I want this to go. I think I changed my mind and I want it to go this way. Okay, so now I'm going to start the rolling process. I'm going to tuck that in. Just like that. And you're going to keep kneading uh, baking soda throughout this. I'm sorry about all the noise. And I'm going to fast forward this because I already did a demo of how I do this in the video before. So I just wanted to come and talk to you guys before I got started. And as you're rolling, keep tucking your ends if you need to, if they go too far out. So um, I'm going to um, go ahead and fast forward this. You guys enjoy the music. So now what I'm doing is just kind of smoothing it out. And what this is, is a dough scraper by Betty Crocker. I got this from the dollar store. Um, you don't need really expensive tools to make bubble bars. You really don't. Um, I'm going to keep rolling this. I just wanted to come and tell you guys about the tools that I use. Um, if you don't have a... Uh, stand mixer like a KitchenAid or something then you can just simply use um, a hand mixer like I did in my video where I first made these and um, you can use a rolling pin or you can use your hands uh, whatever works for you um, to roll it out to me it's easier to use a rolling pin and if you know don't go wasting a whole bunch of money and don't use what you use for cooking either just go to like the salvation army or your local thrift store or, or charity shop and find one there they always have them that's where i got mine <laughs> so um yeah so now i'm gonna go ahead and finish moving this out and then i'll bring you guys back for the cut okay duck so now i got it all smoothed out and i'm ready for the cut um just kind of rub it out and keep playing with it till it feels right to you and this is a very very good texture i could let this rest for a while before i cut it but for the sake of you guys seeing the cut then i'm going to go ahead and do it on video um just number one rule is make sure your ends are kind of tucked in tight like a tight you don't want to see like this on your ends you want it to be more like that where you can't see anything um and also the fragrance that I use on this is Love Spell Type um, by Victoria's Secrets. This always seems to be a favorite whenever I make it. And what's crazy is it's like extremely popular amongst men. They just love to smell it on their women. <laughs> so, um, yeah, every time I make it and take it to my co-workers, the guys, which I work with mostly guys, they all go gaga. So I'm going to show you this piece. And this is really cute. So what I like to do, like the ends are always going to be the loosest. I'll just kind of take them and um, roll them around, like kind of 
press them together like that and kind of form them because they're always going to be the wonkiest because they already ends. And I should have cut this end off, but no big. Somebody's going to want it. It's a bubble bar. <laughs> so uh, these will be in the shop by the time you guys see this video. They will have been in the shop for a couple of weeks. Hopefully I still have some. Um, so go and check. Um, you can find the link to my shop at the end of this video. It's a circle with a soap in it, or you can wait until um, you're done watching the video and scroll to the description box. You can find it there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and cut all of these and I'm going to make some more just because I want to have enough for my craft fairs. And don't worry about like the little pieces that hang out the back because you can simply tuck those back in. I'll show you how to do it. And you don't necessarily have to use, I mean, roll it. You can use cookie cutters to make different shapes as well. If you don't think you can get the hang of rolling like a jelly roll or sushi or whatever. Yeah, I love, love, love this recipe. And last time, uh, and I hate to say stuff like this, but sometimes you have to. Last time I posted this video, I had a few people saying, oh, you weren't helpful at all. Uh, why can't you give us the recipe? So here's the thing that people need to understand about people like myself who are soap makers and bath bomb and bubble bar and any uh, cosmetic bath and body maker. We work hard to... Uh, <laughs> And I know I'm going to get a lot of thumbs down for what I'm about to say, but I really don't care. We work really hard to create these recipes. And um, Nicole over at Two Wild Hairs, I mean, she's awesome. She came up with this awesome, awesome, awesome recipe. Because, and the thing is, you won't go to Lush and ask them, give me your recipe. And get mad at them and curse them out if they don't give you their recipe. You just accept that. You're going to pay $10 or however much it costs for a bubble bar. And you walk out the door with your bag and you go home and use it. But for a um, small business, you expect to get things free. And when I say you, I mean for the people who actually ask these types of questions. Um, I had no problem with paying for her recipe. I even saw on her website that somebody said $10, I mean $20 was too much. No, it's not. Because <laughs> do you know, you got to think about how far that $20 is going to take you. Um, what type of headache you're not going to have because you got a recipe that actually works very, very well. So, um, you know, support one another. That's the whole purpose of me saying this. Support one another. Everything can't be free. There are a lot of uh, YouTubers out here, um, soap makers and bubble bar makers that do give out free recipes. And I tried some and they didn't work for me. I tried quite a few. They didn't work for me. Not to say it's not going to work for you. Didn't work for me. So I decided to support uh, Nicole of Two Wild Hairs and purchase her bubble bar recipe. And I've not had any issues since. So, I will continue to support. You know what I mean? So, trust me, it's worth it. So, if you want the recipe, um, her, the link to her shop will be down below. This is a big one. <laughs> um, you can go over there and purchase her recipe. I mean, come on, 20 bucks. It's, it's worth it. It is way worth the trust when I tell you it's worth it. So, I'm going to get off my soapbox now. <laughs> soapbox. <laughs> Okay, so oh, these smells, they, they smell wonderful. Ah! Okay, uh, bubble bar down. All right, set that right there. And I mean, they kind of all look the same after a while, but I will go ahead and fast forward the rest so you guys can see each one. 